there's a man right there. from Cast and Destroy Angling um, over here at Shelter Island near the launch ramp as you can see they're still working on it they said it's uh, gonna be ready by summer this year ah anyways over here I parked down there a bit because you can't park here they're still doing the construction but I'm over here to do a partly to see what's been going on lately and to keep trying out the new scent that I made. Now I'm gonna keep on uh, tossing out this little fluke. It's been working, working well with the scent. Well, all right. Let's see if I need to retie. Nope, still good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try out these two new scents that I made. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the blue one again. Oh, oh yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and the way I like to apply this is pretty simple. Get all this yummy stuff. Yummy. Just kind of slather it all on the bait. Let me get you guys a better close up here. Set the rod down in this jelly stuff. You want to get some of that juice in there too because that's where all the good smellies are in there. All right. You want to really get it on there. Just kind of get it all. Yeah. Oh yeah, let me, and you want to wipe this stuff off, this stuff is gnarly. Ooh, my keys. Oh, and uh, special thanks to Mark from uh, Slayers. God, it's so windy, it's, it's not the best weather out today. Slayers, forgive me this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and post his uh, link up. He is the founder of Prestige, uh, Prestige Audio. Sorry if I messed butchered the name up there, Mark. Um, oh God, I'm gonna fall. But yeah, cool dude. Him and his crew, they uh, pretty much just go for halibut. And he's been teaching me a few things here and there. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've learned a lot actually. So um, yeah, so we got the scent going. There we go, let me put that back in here. All right. Put it in a Ziploc bag just in case it wants to leak or whatever. All right. So. Oh my God, that is a big piece of loose kelp right there. Let's. Uh, let's see if we can cast that way you know when I checked it said the uh, tide was going to be incoming to be honest it looks like a dead tide right now so yeah uh, this new scent I've been working on oh there we go <laughs> this new scent I've been working on pretty much been work uh, nice little spotty 
Man, he wanted that. Look at that. Uh, first cast, too. Nice. He's not big, but he's fun. Come on, you. Sorry, buddy. Thanks for playing. There we go. Um, yeah, there's still a lot of smelly stuff on here. All right, let's try this again. The tide does seem to be outgoing a bit because that big piece of kelp that was right there kind of floated off that way. So, yeah. But yeah, so far the scent has been working pretty good. Ow, the bass bit me. That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, I had one, I had one, I had one. But yeah, this, this, this uh, oh yeah, look at that. Annihilated that bait. That was a jump right there. Fish jumped. That's a good sign. And now we get the little guy involved with some of this blue goo. All right. So here we go. Try the little one first. Give that a couple of casts. See what it wants to play. No idea how deep this water is. I haven't been fishing here in forever. I haven't been fishing in a lot of places forever. Oh yeah, the blue goo. Like the blue goo, little but okay, that'll do. Folks, this is the countdown here. Um, I'm gonna try to get as much here. If the camera dies and I'm still getting, there we go. Wow, right away, he was in the weeds. Yeah, I reapplied the blue goo and bam. It's not big. Then again, it's a bass. And I'm using tiny bait. So, there we go. Hey, it's LZ from Cast and Destroy Angling. My camera died already, but like I said, if I catch anything else, here's a uh, nice spotted bay bass off the little 
two inch, two and a half inch fluke. Uh, I applied the uh, blue goo to it. It hit right away. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep doing this and splice up some more footage of it. I need a better camera. There we go. Alrighty. Let's uh, see if we can catch some more. Yeah, the two-inch flukes are doing it. Um, that's that's the bait of choice right now. All right. It's getting pretty damn cold. I don't know how much longer I can stay out here. The wind kind of died down, but it, it's getting colder and colder. So here's another one. It's a little smaller guy. See? But uh, also applied the uh, blue... Um, glue stuff i think that's what i'm gonna keep working on perfecting uh yeah um but yeah bass i'm gonna toss this guy and yeah all right there he is bass i don't know what number what i don't know a million it's like I, that's, that's like my seventh or eighth bass on this stuff and the weather's crappy <laughs> so they're not big but they're fun so yeah six pound test uh, a little fluke my special special secret scent because I'm tossing them out without the scent and I'm not getting nothing okay <laughs> literally after I lathered up uh, with the bait sauce and I toss it out another one I mean look he destroyed this bait and you can still see some of the goo juice on there So I think I have enough footage. Um, too bad of not me catching them, but I'm gonna get to work on that and this guy. So yeah, hold on one second. I'm gonna release them. All right. Bye, bye, fishy. All right. Uh, this one's done. Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it in. It's starting to get really cold, really wet, really fast. It's getting windy. And I'm getting hungry. But I think I got enough footage to go ahead and do this. All right. Yeah, it got too cold, too windy. Maybe I'm gonna go ahead and try again tomorrow.